Sometimes my kitchen feels like a Grand Central Station. We have a lot of coming and going. I have a lot of people in my family who eat a lot of food and we are very busy. And so if you are like me and would like to see how I make it work with a minimalist kitchen so I can stay ahead of the mess, come and I'll show you how I do it. Now, if you have been around on my channel for any length of time, you probably already know that I am not a huge fan of cooking, but needless to say, we do eat most of our meals at home. I have to pack lunches for my kids every single day. And so although I don't love it, my kitchen really needs to be a clean and functional space. And the way that I do this, the first and foremost, is I have organized the whole kitchen around making it really quick and easy to unstack the dishwasher not just for me but also for my kids i have everything down low that they would need to be putting away if they can't reach something they can just leave it on the bench but this is a great way of making sure that your kitchen is a really functional space one of the best ways to do this is to make sure that you don't have too many items in your cupboards. If you are having to move things out to put stuff away, that makes the whole process of unstacking your dishwasher take so much longer. So by creating a little bit of space and just having those items that you need be really accessible, that's going to make it really quick and easy to put those clean dishes away at the end of the day. For me, I really like to have clear counts. And the way that I do this is by having some space in my cupboards to put those appliances away when I'm not using it. So aside from my coffee machine, everything else goes away when I'm finished, whether it's our toaster, our kettle or our blender. As soon as we're finished, I pop it away. It just helps me to be able to clear off all those counters, give everything a good clean once I've reset my kitchen and we're ready to start again. Something that is really helpful when you're designing your kitchen and organizing where you want things to go is keep function in mind. So I have a lunchbox cupboard, which has everything I need, lunch boxes, water bottles, containers, all in one space, so that as I'm making the lunches in the morning, it's really quick and easy. Another area I have that has everything I need is above my coffee machine. I have all of our coffee and tea making supplies. It's really easy for not just for me to access, but also if a guest was to come in, everything is right there where they need it and I don't have to move from that spot. People often ask me what number of things that should you have, how many plates, how many bowls, how many knives and forks do you need? And that will really depend on how many people you have in your house and also how often you're either running your dishwasher or doing your dishes. So the less items you have, the more on top of getting those items clean you need to be. So for me, I like to give myself a little bit of breathing room that it, if it is one, two, three meals before I'm running my dishwasher, that we have enough cups and plates to cover that amount of meals. One of the best decisions I ever made was switching to some lightweight plates and bowls. It just makes it really easy, not just for kids to put away things from the dishwasher, but also to set the table. So if you are looking for a new dining set, I highly recommend going into the store and feeling those cups and plates and bowls to see if they are light enough for your little ones to pick up. Something to consider when you're in your kitchen is how much the footprint of things take up. So one of the things that I really like to use are plastic chopping boards. They have, they are super thin. They have a really small footprint in your cupboard. And so you can keep quite a few of them. I also really like that you can fold them up to put the scraps in the bin or to put vegetables straight into the stock pot. This works really well for me. When it comes to baking, Muffin tins are my absolute favorite. There are so many things that you can use a muffin tin for, whether it is muffins or pies or cupcakes, all of the things, brownies, they can all be cooked in a muffin tin. So these types of items like muffin tins and loaf pans that can be used for all sorts of things are a great addition to a minimalist kitchen. When it comes to pots and pans, they take up so much space in your cupboards. So really thinking about what those items that you're using on a regular basis, or if you could sub those items out for something else that you already have and minimize the 
amount of items you have, that's really going to free up a lot of space. When it comes to appliances, we are living in an age where they can all do so many things. And my absolute favorite is my Ninja blender. It can be a blender, a food processor. It also has a dough attachment. So if you need to mix cakes or breads, this has got you covered. My second favorite appliance is my pressure cooker. Now I used to have a slow cooker and a rice maker. And so this did away with two appliances as well as having the convenience of having a pressure cooker. Whether it is cooking rice, slow cooking bolognese or a curry this machine does it all it is my absolute favorite when it comes to kitchen gadgets and utensils this is somewhere where we can all have those extra items creep in so what I would encourage you to do if you are looking at minimizing the items in your kitchen is have a look at what you're using all the time what are you constantly what are your go-tos and keep them separated and then give yourself a little bit of time to see what utensils you're using maybe in three to six months and if you haven't used it or you don't have a replacement that you could use that's a good indication that it's time to go.